Hey there guys, this is Phone Tekken and today I'm back with a ROM review actually for your HTC One. So I'm pretty sure this is the first ROM review for the HTC One. This works for all the carriers, uh, or all the HTC One, so the international version, Sprint, T-Mobile, and AT&T. And right now, in my opinion, it's the best for um, the HTC One. There are a couple more. I have the AT&T variant on my phone, obviously. So, um, let's get into it. So, if we go into software information, you can tell that it is Maximus 7. Let me zoom in a little. Version 4.0.0. And Android version 4.1.2. HTC Sense version 5, of course. And, um, if you don't know, the HTC One wasn't released too long ago, especially on AT&T about two days ago, and there was already a root available. Um, there, are, there is a video already on by another YouTuber where he shows you how to root it, and I think it's a great video. You do need a computer, obviously, and it does take some time, and it is a lot of stuff to do. So if you're not someone who knows how to do that stuff, you might want to wait a little longer till they get some more options to root your device. So um, some of the stuff new that you get, uh, when you're installing this, you will go through Aroma Installer, and um, you'll get to choose which bloatware you want and don't want, at least from HTC and Google. Uh, if you're on AT&T, Sprint, or T-Mobile, it will completely take all those uh, stupid apps away that most of us don't even use. And um, it also has another really cool thing. Um, sadly, these toggles do not come with the ROM. That's an app that I installed, and I have a review of it um, that I did actually earlier today. So you could check that out if you want toggles on your HTC One. Some of the stuff it does add, we do get some new apps like um, Solid Explorer and MX Player, which you could download, of course, from the Play Store. Uh, the best one probably for me, Attaway, and basically you just download files, reboot, and it will take away all your ads, which is pretty awesome. And um, one of the best features of this ROM, in my opinion, is that it takes away that ugly menu bar in some of the apps. So, for example, if I open up Facebook, if you have the HTC One, you probably notice that right now, if you open up Facebook, there's a huge menu bar right down there. And it's annoying as hell, and it takes up a lot of space. And so when you're installing this through Aroma, you'll have an option to um, get rid of that. And if you check that option, after you boot into your normal phone, if you go down to display gestures and buttons, uh, and buttons right here, you see back button, it will be checked as always go back. You want to change that to press for back and press and hold for menu. So now you could use your back button as a menu button. So if I open up Facebook and I hold the menu, or the back button, it opens up the menu. So that's pretty cool. I think that's a really useful feature. Uh, apparently this ROM also has a lot of speed tweaks to it and battery tweaks to give you a better experience on your HTC One like it isn't fast enough already and guys um, let me start off by saying you are not going to be flashing this the normal way that you're used to so um, there again I'll have uh, there is a video on how to flash a ROM also and I'll probably be doing it in the next time I flash a ROM and you're gonna have to have a computer whenever you flash a ROM and right now let me show you on the command prompt on my computer zoom out a little um, basically we, every time you install a ROM you're gonna have to install it on your computer here I have the Maximus 7 ROM as you can see right there as it's highlighted you zoom in a little Maximus 7 ROM and um, once you've rooted, if you are, uh, have rooted and followed that guy's directions, you should have a folder in your files called on local disk C called ADB. If you open that up right there, basically you're gonna take the you're gonna have to open up 
Oops. You're going to have to take the wrong that you're trying to flash, maximum 7, and you're going to open it up. And you'll see the boot image, and you're going to take that and move it to your ADB folder. So once you've moved it there, that's where the now you have to go into command prompt. You're going to first type CD slash, let me move it in for you guys. You're going to first type CD slash ADB, and then you're going to press enter. Then you're going to type in fastboot space flash space boot space space boot dot image. So this is what you do after you have already flash ROM on your phone. If you don't do this, the ROM will not or the phone will not boot. So you have to do that every time you're flashing a ROM for now. Hopefully there will be some new methods coming out soon. But for now that is the way you do it, but I really think it's worth it because you get rid of ads, you have that annoying menu bar gone, and this is just the beginning. There's going to be a lot of cool features coming out with ROM soon, and especially from this developer, I'm looking forward to it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and like down below. Uh, also, please donate to me down below so I can get future devices to review. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching.